Hello. So today we're going to talk about kinetic energy. So the word kinetic means it's in motion. Kinetic energy. So this means it's the energy due to motion. Okay, so kinetic energy is defined as one half m, m is the mass, times the v squared. So v is the velocity here. So I want to check the unit, this is kg, and this is meter square and then second square. And remember Newton, which is f equal to ma, this is equal to kg, meter per second square. You can see this one here can be written as Newton times meter. <clears throat> so kg times one meter divided by second square, which is this one. So then this one here is equal to your joule, right? So this indeed is in the unit of joule. Okay, gonna clear that. So next we're gonna talk about a simple version of work energy principle. which is used extensively. So let's say if we have a mass and it's given a force that's, let's say, going this way. And right now the velocity is equal to zero, okay? And let's say, um, so after, after some time, and move uh, a d distance, okay? So now, let's say this is equal to one meter, and that's equal to one Newton, and this is equal to one kilogram. So the question is, if there's no friction, let's assume there's no friction. The question is, what would be the velocity here? V prime, okay? So according to the work energy principle, which basically says that the work done by this force here will be equal to the change in kinetic energy, okay? So then the work done by F, it's equal to FD cosine theta, which is equal to one times one and F is going this way, D is going this way, so theta is equal to zero degree, so times one. So that's equal to one joule. And delta Ke, right? So in the beginning, Ke, in the beginning, initial is equal to zero. And Ke final is equal to one half M V prime squared, okay? So then, Using this work energy principle, which is given as this, we can then say this work done is equal to one joule, which is equal to delta Ke, which is equal to one half, equal to Ke final minus Ke initial, right? So this this equal to Ke final minus Ke initial, right? So then that's equal to one half M, v prime squared and minus zero because v was initially zero. I'm gonna change in color here. So then this is equal to one half times one and times v prime squared, right? So then v prime squared is equal to two. So then v prime is gonna be equal to square root two meter per second, okay? So that is your simple version of work energy principle, okay? So it basically says that, so the, the physical meaning is that we apply work, right, to the object, M. And this work, which is in the form of energy, right, in joule is converted, right, without loss 
of thermal energy, right? Because mu is equal to zero. Friction coefficient equal to zero. Converted without loss of thermal energy into kinetic energy increase, right? So this is our uh, work energy principle that we demonstrate today. All right, that's all we have. Bye-bye now.